Hello again to all of you out there. Hope life is treating you well. Here's another useful resource, hopefully, from Cornish Drew's Tudor Support. HL only 4.3 sales forecasting. This links in with the tools and techniques linear regression. Again, keep watching our site, more videos coming. Starting point as ever is revise the terminology. Sales forecasting is just basically predicting future sales. I'm going to show you a quantitative methods technique to identify sales levels and trends in sales over time. Don't get put off by time series analysis as a term. All you're actually doing looking at prediction using extrapolation, if you watched our linear regression video, and time series is just comparing the changes in a variable, in this case it's sales, over time. Uh, trends just average sales, and the trend can be used as a performance indicator. Is your sales figure achieved above or below trend? And again, that leads to information for managers to make decisions. And there will be fluctuations from that trend, seasonal, cyclical, random. Uh, seasonal, for your seasonal business, think tourism. Obviously, certain parts of the year, you're going to earn a hell of a lot more than other parts of the year. Uh, cyclical fluctuations, that's due to the economic and business cycle. If your economy is in recession, obviously, you're going to fluctuate from your forecast trend sales figure. Random fluctuations are one-off and predicted. Sudden rapid change in the weather, your ice cream seller, ice cream sales are way above what expected. Back to the question we used on the linear regression video. You're simply looking here at uh, some mean sales data and what they do in there, if this appears in the exam paper, you know, benefit here is you don't have to work out the axes it's given for you, you have to draw on there. So option one for the examiners is give you the mean sales data have you plot the sales data line and then put a line of best fit through that sales data now i'm not going to spend lots of time going back over that but line of best fit simply should bisect your sales data i.e go through the middle and then if you want to forecast future sales you just extrapolate that means extend so where your trend line your line of best fit stops I, at the end of sales data here with a ruler you just draw a broken line up to whichever year it actually is they can read off the forecast sales figure for the business now the curveball thrown in by section 4.3 instead of drawing a line of best fit they may expect you to use the three point moving average technique now all this actually does um, I've taken that data and just actually turned it into sales rather than mean sales. You're calculating the coordinates for the trend line to plot the trend line rather than drawing a line of best fit. So do not make this complicated. It's simply draw the line of best fit, bisect the data, spread. Three point moving average, you're physically calculating. And the three points is because you're averaging over a three year period. And if you're given data, as you've got here, 2014 to 2021, to calculate the trend, you simply add up the first three sales data figures, divide by three, then you move on to the next year. So it's a relatively straightforward arithmetical exercise, to be honest with you, it's just working out a simple average. And that provides you with the coordinates for the trend line. Now at the moment, ignore variations in that table. So just go through the worked example. If it appears in the exam, it is as simple as this. You just one, two, three, divide by three, put them as a midpoint in the data set. So 2014, 15, 16, the midpoint is 2015. So therefore, if you plot in the trend line, 173.3 against 215. Obviously the problem you have, obviously 173.3, you're very likely to be able to plot accurately so obviously you just round down to 173. So work it through, make sure you can see where the numbers come from, what the technique actually is. And again, it's just the coordinates and simply the questions they ask you to use this technique, draw the trend line 
and then extrapolate the trend line as normal take your ruler a broken line keep on going in the same direction and read off the graph to forecast sales so those are the two options that can come at you with either three point moving average draw a trend line or line the best fit draw a trend line then extrapolate extrapolate extend it to actually then read off sales for the year they specified in the question yeah. the variations back to those variations all they simply are is divergence from the trend are you above or below trend so again if you're assessing evaluating performance of the business you just compare your actual sales figure and your trend sales figure so for sales your actual sales figure were above the trend you've got a positive variation if your actual sales figure was below the trend you have a negative variation so here business can actually lock down on figures and say right in this year we were below trend performance why now to trend remember is the average sales figure one of the criticisms of this technique obviously you're averaging and you're averaging over three years to calculate its coordinates to draw a trend line so how accurate is the trend line in a similar way if you're criticizing technique if you're just drawing a line of best fit you know how accurate depends on the person their skill level etc you know how accurately they can draw a line of best fit but that's all you're looking for is it a positive or negative variation are you above or below trend and now for that enables you to draw conclusions as the performance of the business and if you're below trend start asking the questions why and what you're going to do to change the situation around as a business now just to finish off some further evaluation points in terms of advantages stroke drawbacks of the technique now in particular advantages if you can forecast your sales you have a target you have a target to work towards remember smart targets specific measurable achievable realistic time related so if you're expecting sales to be up 20 percent next year you can plan now to allocate sufficient resources variations allows you for cash flow management if you're calculating variations you expect variations i.e below trend performance do you need to look at your liquidity management and workforce planning okay, if you know that future target do you have sufficient staff with sufficient skills in place if not what are you going to do to do it recruitment strategies drawbacks of it takes time cost skills of the people carrying out this technique if they have the skills yes it may provide some kind of basis for your decision making but remember the averages again it ignores quality factors because it's purely based on numbers and our average numbers so think about other factors which might you know actually impede your ability to achieve that forecast sales figure change in the external environment political factors economic factors legal factors going on there and think of the quality of the data available how accurate are your sales figures okay who put them together okay how you slot they as the basis of starting point for this again hope this has been useful please look keep looking at our site stroke channel uh, people call it different things uh, more and more will be coming up there to help you guys out now good luck with your studies